Hey everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. Today I have come with a very delicious cauliflower recipe and you will be amazed how easy it is to make. Pan on medium high heat. Add the cauliflower florets before the oil turns too hot because sometimes the oil starts to splatter around if it's too hot. And if you're a beginner then it won't be a good experience. I always pat dry the cauliflower after washing it for that reason. Cut the cauliflower into medium sized florets. Fry them on medium high heat till they start to get browned up along the edges. When they look like this then it's time to add the onions. I used a very large onion for this recipe. And I slice them up as you can see on the screen. And I love using red onions for this recipe. But you can also use yellow onions. You can also add chopped garlic along with the onions. But today I chose Miss Red Onion to dominate this dish. Okay guys, keep stirring everything on medium high heat till the onions wilt down and become pale in color. See how the onions are all looking pale and wilted? At this point comes the seasonings. 1 whole teaspoon of freshly crushed black pepper. I took a heaped teaspoon of whole black pepper corns and crushed them using my mortar and pestle. You need a coarse grind. I also added salt and about half a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. You can also use paprika. Then I used a tablespoon of tomato paste. You can substitute tomato paste with tomato sauce or puree. But I do not recommend using fresh tomatoes for this recipe because it tends to make everything soggy. And doesn't it already look so gorgeous? Then I love using a little bit of sugar. I know, I know, some of you do not like adding sugar. And that's totally fine. Sugar is optional and you can leave it out happily. Now cover it on low heat for 5 to 8 minutes. From time to time uncover and give a stir and check whether the cauliflowers are turning tender or not. Now guys, that 5 to 8 minutes is just an estimate. It may take less or more time for you, so keep checking. The last thing you want is some mashed up cauliflower that will be so disappointing for your eyes, though it will taste great. Okay, right at the end, add just half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. If you do not like the flavor of garam masala powder, then you can leave it out totally. As I always say, you are the boss of your kitchen. So add whatever is good for you and your family. And some of you know my relationship with coriander leaves. Please smash that like button for me and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.